Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to cook cipino. What is that? It's a nice uh, mixture of fish, clams, things like that, and a tomato base. Now one of the most important ingredients with cipino is the tomato sauce. And if you want to make a good base, you need fish broth. Now I happened to make this fish broth a month ago. I bought a bunch of scrap fish, boiled them up, filtered it, drained it, and I made three quarts. So we're going to use one quart today in our cipino. I'm going to use a little bit of tomato paste and maybe some tomato sauce. Of course, salt, pepper, nice onion, some garlic, fresh thyme, red pepper flakes, and of course, the stars of the game, the fish. So here we have a nice bowl of clams and mussels. And we have a little more. Here we have some scallops and some shrimps. Of course, these came frozen, these came fresh. So that's what's gonna go into our chip pino. So, you ready to start cooking? Well, let's start with our onion. So, we'll give it a little cut here. A little cut there. Cut it in half. Peel off the sides. Now for the garlics. Okay, let's cook. Start with a little bit of olive oil. There we go. Swirl that around. Now our onions. Ah, oh, mega. You like onions? Okay. Uh, give that a minute too. Oh, some red peppers. There they go. And a little bit of thyme. Right, mix that about. A little salt never hurts. So we're gonna give them a couple minutes to get brown. Gonna add some garlic. There it goes. All right. Now we're gonna add the uh, the clams first because they take the longest. I'm checking them to make sure they're all alive. Nobody wants a dead clam. No, they don't. Right, they all look good. Let's stir them in there now. Turn up the heat. These could take five minutes to open or so. So in the meantime, I'm going to get the rest of the fish. Now we're going to add some cod. Let's add some cod in there. There we go. Give it another stir. All right, now we're going to throw in the shrimpies. a nice orangey red when they get cooked so let's get them in there I think we went a little overboard on the fish here what are you gonna do okay and finally now let's throw in some of these guys I'd say four or five minutes to let these guys cook down. And then we're ready to eat. All we need to do is sprinkle a little parsley on that, huh? What do you think? 